Hi, my name is Brian Gwynn, one of the culinary arts instructors here at MATC, and one of the many expert instructors who bring our years of field experience to our students and now to you. The um, big question is, how do I carve this turkey? How do I bring this turkey out to the table, the oohs and ahs of the family, and put on the show without making a big mess? Yes, of course, the option is to take it back into the kitchen, have a cutting board set up, and I'll show you how to take the breast off so you can carve that and create the platter in your kitchen. But if you want to carve table side and put on that show and continue the oohs and ahs, I got you back. So now I'm at the table, family is looking with watery expectation, and here's what I'm gonna do. Um, first off, before the turkey ever comes out, I'm gonna make sure that one, my hands are washed and cleaned. Two, the turkey's been cooked fully to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Food safety, you gotta make sure you're not getting anybody sick. Uh, the tools I have, most common is to go to the carving fork, but I'm gonna set that aside in favor of a pair of kitchen tongs. This helps me handle the turkey a little bit easier. Uh, I wanna get to this breast here, and that's gonna be the star of the show, but I wanna get this leg off. And you're either gonna have uh, some string trussing tying the legs together, or a little bit of skin that's been wrapped around it. Um, I'm gonna cut through that, and I'm just gonna easily lift this leg up, and this is why I like tongs over a fork. I can just pull that back. Okay, you can hear that snap. I'm gonna go in and right there, right between the joint, I'm gonna put my leg on my platter. There's the first part of the presentation. Second part is I'm going to take this thigh and right here, there's some skin that connects the thigh to the bird, but the only other thing that connects it is a, uh, the thigh joint, the hip bone, right down here, way down deep. And so what I need to do is I need to take my knife and push back and just cut that skin. Push all the way back. And that joint should pop up right here. And it's easy to get out. And I'm gonna go right between that. And that's really the only thing that's preventing me from getting this entire thigh off the bird. Now, this is a little bit of a mess. Thigh meat's full of fat, it's gonna fall apart. I would suggest just putting this on your platter and letting people pick at it, take bits and pieces that they want. If you would like to carve it, that is a cutting board thing in your kitchen. Now for the breast. Uh, you can see some lines on our breast. Uh, the chefs and I here at MATC decided that we were gonna roast this turkey upside down, which means that we put the breast down in our roasting pan. And what that does is all of the dark meat that's in the thigh, that's in the leg, that's in the back, there's a lot more fat there than in the more lean breast bone. And if it's upside down as it cooks, all that fat juices drip down into the breast, self-basting the turkey. Uh, there's a little bit different of a presentation. You're gonna see that as it comes out, but it's not so big that uh, it, it will hurt your, your end product. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. First off, I'm gonna find the middle of my turkey, right here, and I'm gonna do a little bit of a slice down, and there's the sternum, and I'm gonna to go to the right a little bit, I'm gonna carve straight down, and I'm gonna feel, I feel that sternum, and I'm gonna go down until I can't anymore. Right there, about halfway down. The breastbone of a turkey is very, very pointy, and it goes down and then suddenly does a curve out for the, the rib cage. And right when I stop the knife, normally you would turn your knife out and carve the rest of the breast out. But in this case, we're gonna stop right there because I, what I want you to do to carve table side is now come back and start slicing top of the bird toward the middle and start getting these slices out. Now, very common technique is to just start slicing off the bird like this, but you're gonna get down, you're gonna start hitting bone and cartilage, and it kind of gets in the way. This way, you've already done the pre-cut, and this slicing here is easy and beautiful. And you can make this beautiful platter right there. Now, if you are going to be in the kitchen, 
and putting on a cutting board to carve and make a beautiful carved platter that you're gonna put take out. So uh, we can do that too. And you're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. You're gonna take this thigh, uh, leg bone. You're gonna pull that out. Cut right between the joints that pops up. You can see it. Okay, another beautiful leg bone. But this time, instead of carving down the breast and stopping, I'm gonna carve down and I'm gonna turn my knife to go right along the shape of the interior of the bird. And right there is our full breast that we can then take into the kitchen and we can make those slices there to put on our platter. So remember, before the turkey ever comes to the table, you have your knife, it's sharp, you have a pair of tongs, not a carving fork, your hands are washed, and your turkey is cooked to a full 165 degrees Fahrenheit. For more helpful tips, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Brian Quinn, Milwaukee Area Technical College.